All right, I'm back again. Just say, uh, you left some food on your knife, or it's a chef's knife, and you don't clean it that often. And um, you got quite a bit more rust and corrosion on the surface of your knife. This would have been a lot worse, but it's a fairly polished surface, so it didn't get all that bad. You want to do a similar thing to what we just did, but you're going to want to replace the, uh, the steel wool with some Scotch-Brite. And um, what you can do is just cut yourself a little piece of the Scotch-Brite off. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just tear a piece off or whatever. Just I want to use a little more oil on this, so use a good amount of oil. And the same thing, you, if you use less oil, it'll, it'll actually scour everything off a lot uh, easier, but you're going to get a, a coarser finish, which if you're not concerned with the appearance staying original or not, it's not a big deal. Um, doesn't really matter either way. And then if you get some tough spots, you can just set the blade down on the countertop or a bench so you can put more pressure on it if you need to. And you just keep working that. Now you're going to get a, a satin finish from this. It's not going to be a polished finish. So this blade will no longer be polished unless I put it back on the bench polisher again. We should just take few seconds to bring it back from the scotch brite finish. So you're just going to keep scrubbing. Now you want to keep um, your hand movement parallel to the edge. You could scrub this way, you could scrub in a circle. It's all going to take it off, but as far as your looks are concerned, when all your scratches or machining marks go from the start of the blade to the tip parallel to the edge, I find it looks much nicer than just random scratches or just the, the grinder marks going this way. But as far as use and performance and just keeping the blade from rusting, that doesn't really matter. It's just a cosmetic thing. But it does take a little bit sometimes. But... Um, It'll look real nice, and it's pretty good to keep your knives clean. A little fish scale on this one still. I use a combination of this knife, this uh, CX here with the zebra bone, and this little small knife I carry every day to belay my fish and prepare them. It works good. You can do it with just one or the other, but the combination of them works pretty good. This blade being thin and long, and that one being a little more short and maneuverable. You just wipe the oil off. You can see it's got a much cleaner finish to it now. Um, and we can go back with the quadruple O or triple O steel wool and uh, just a little bit of oil. And that'll bring some of the shine back to it. You could also use a little bit of Mother's. Uh, polish, a white paste polish for mag and aluminum wheels. If you want to do it by hand, you could back that up with a piece of leather instead of the steel wool. Steel wool will work just fine though. So I used to polish aluminum on the uh, motorcycles and stuff. And just wipe that down. Um, if you are going to prepare food with the knife after you've done this, or you use motor oil or whatever, it's a good idea just to take some denatured alcohol or rubbing alcohol or anything like that, and just, just clean that petroleum-based oil off the blade. But you can see it's, it's pretty nice now compared to what it was. There's still some marks, but this knife is quite a few years old, so... Look at that. So, there we have it. Just takes a few seconds.